Jerks. You know that. Jerp, thanks so much for the 10 bones, pal. Hi, Charles. Have you ever heard of the Anunnaki? Oh, my God. Who doesn't know the Anunnaki? Who doesn't know? Who doesn't know the Sumerian Pantheon? I think Earth was uh, their point-and-click adventure game. Eh. I understand the, sh the Sheol sitcom and the uh, harvesting of suffering and of debauchery. I understand the appeal of that that would have on extra-dimensional uh, psychic vampires and demons. I understand and whether the Anunnaki were slayed or they turned into something different once their bodies died. I don't know, they could be the, the planets you see in the sky. Local planets. Unless they're a trillion light years away. You know that if you were flying in a spaceship that we have right there to get to the, that planet over there, you see the Jupiter? Well, it would take you 666 years to do that. I'm like, oh, really? We must be little bugs out in the middle of nowhere, just a speck of dust and all the action's out over there. We're spinning at 666 miles per hour and what's going to take 666 years to reach there? Imagine how silly, I mean, that's take so long, I mean. When will we have the technology to do that? I'll be dead and buried by then. And So what's the point of anything? I mean, it's so far away. A big ball of gas. It's there for absolutely nothing. And that means we are here for absolutely nothing. Thousand sands and ocean, endless, insignificant bugs and ants. We walk in the beach like the gods walk in the galaxy. Just like little grains of sand, they look at us like we're just lower than ants. And, and so it goes to infinity, the vacuum of space, forever and ever, things that you will never, ever see. So we make them in Bryce 3D! These images have been computer-enhanced for your benefit. You see the red in the galaxies of Andromeda and the bright neon purple. Well, you see, we put that in in Bryce. But we leave it to your imagination because you're just a slob. You couldn't even understand, so we're going to fill it in with computers. and We get our rockets to fly around in a vacuum with no air. Not an easy task. You know how you do it? Bryce 3D! After Effects! Well, you guys get the idea. We're just insignificant, but I mean, that the planet over there, you're gonna, it's going to take so long to get to. Oh, man, really? Well, what if it's in our atmosphere? I don't know. Maybe you might get stuck in an asylum talking about that too much in the future. I don't know if you're a sort of a science denier. Maybe you'll be a space denier. And they'll kind of... Freeze your bank account or something. I mean, just you just never know. A local sun, local moon. What if it's not that far away? What if it's water? What is it, a vacuum? You ever try making a rocket ship work in a vacuum? Go ahead, try it. Go ahead, try it, see what happens. Know what's going to happen? I don't know. You tell me. Ask Bill Nye. Ask freaking Abraham Lincoln. What the hell is yep. Ask John Carmack. What did he do with his rockets? Did they get through? Did they get through the dome? Nah, he found out that you couldn't. So he retired from aerospace, from his aeronautics. What, what else can I say about that? Put Stephen Hawking into a rocket ship, shoot him into the firmament. I don't know, I guess you can't, unless he's, unless he's found and retrieved and reanimated. Might not be so easy to do, at least you can do it with his memory. Send him off through the dome. The Hawking, Hawkins. Is it Hawking or Hawkins? I never remember. I name this the event horizon, the, the energy that is in between atoms or whatever, the spooky, spooky space. Things happen in space that you can't, you can't describe. Things spooky. Einstein said that about space. Spooky things happen that you can't. I'm like, oh, yeah, really? Uh, like, who'd you steal that from, Einstein? You steal that from somebody? Pass it off as your own? What's relative to where you are in space? If you're on that planet, you're going to age a lot faster. I was like, oh, what if that's not a planet that you can walk on? Mr. Genius? I don't know. Did he think of that? Probably did. Couldn't say it, though. Probably would have put him in a bug house. It's crazy! 
CGI. It's like space. You ever been to space before? Well, that would take you a trillion years to get to if you were on foot. You know, some star is going to explode, some nothing there randomly. It's going to happen. It's going to wipe out all the, all the life on Earth. Can you believe that one day? I was like, oh my God, the glaciers are going to melt. We should have been dead 30 years ago. Therefore, we are already dead. You better stop driving your car. Or every time you go somewhere, you're going to pay. You don't want to pay with sweat. You'll pay with carbon credit then. Either way, you'll pay. Either way, we'll find a way to make you pay. I mean, what can you sue? What can you sue? I mean, who do you sue? NASA was founded by Satanist Jack Parsons. Yeah, I mean, we all remember him. Who knows what it is or who knows what is or it isn't up there. Yeah, I mean, you guys understand that. The Mr. The Rocket. The Rocket Fuel guy. The Rocket guy. Uh, Aero, Parsons Aerospace, whatever it was called. He was friends with Crowley and that whole bunch of weirdo freaks. The Barbara Bush's dad. Um... So, I mean, yeah, he did. He was, a, he was a freak, wasn't he? He was a real freak. Disgusting freaks. Burning hell. Anyway, um, you know those guys. You've got to go through a certain car wash to get into an in influential position. That car wash usually usually comprised of a few parts of getting abused till you go crazy. And then being, you know, putting out your little bat signs into the sky. Well, you see, you're going to launch this rocket at exactly 11 a.m. during the full moon, and it's going to be called Artemis, and you also have to mention Apollo. <laughs> oh, man, you're a, must be, I mean, you're a padded room. Do you read Sutter Kane? We're spitting those patterns out right now. What do you, you sound like you read Sutter Kane. Ah, enjoy the wall. Hope you get a blindfold there. Anyway, what else can you say about NASA? It's crazy, man.